Alrighty peeps, back again. So we're at the the last of, uh, well, the last little bits of that truck. So here we are, nice and, oh. nice and dry. Well, semi-dry. Love it. So, nice and nice and workable for you guys. So that's there we go. So nice and I uh, would hazard a guess and say that's reasonably healthy. Would I go up on a big wall like a seven foot wall with this? Maybe not. Maybe not, but at least she's um, how it's meant to be. So, so hopefully everybody's having a nice and productive day today. I know we are. Oh, there we go. So, and it's been mentioned before that when it's a little bit juicy like this, um, when it's a little bit juicy like this, that the uh, Fresno tools wouldn't really wouldn't really work that well. But yeah, for us, yeah, it works. <laughs> She's a bit juicy. There we go. I'd say juicy, but no, it's not really. It's what happens when you stop drinking too long, grab a spray. I wouldn't say talking talking to myself just on the shock reading page. <laughs> with only uh, only about eleven hundred guys watching it at event eventually. So <laughs> Nah. Ugh. Yeesh. So. Yeah, so, yeah, Mike, that's the one. Add 20, add 20, 20 litres in it. It's not wet enough. I think there's got to be a challenge out there somewhere where if you're spraying in the, uh, spraying in the floor and it's like a four inch slump, why not go to a 10 inch slump? So we're gonna um, got our young guy on the uh, on the nozzle. It's probably his second time playing around with it. So after a little bit of instruction, yes, he is spraying way too thick, but he's still learning. So. So pack it on out. Oh my goodness, I love it. Yeah, and so I'm not sure on how the stateside guys or how you guys, um, how your mixes are. I know that uh, some some areas have like a little bit of problems with their mixes, and they're just trying to trying to work it all out. Um, but we're, we're pretty consistent. Like, yeah, I just, I'd say with our suppliers, because we don't have our own pro proprietary mix. We just ask for their shotcrete mix and then the supplier just gives it to us, you know? So, and if, uh, and, and this is a, a general comment, but if the, the shotcrete crews in, in Sydney if they're not happy with the, the mix that the supplier is supplying, they just won't use them. Does that make sense? Yeah, so, it's just one of those things. I mean, if, if you know a company has has a good mix, then you'll use them all the time. Um, 
Okay. And it comes down to the price on whoever has the best price and whatever the builder wants to, to utilize. Yeah. Some guys use not exactly the, the best mix, but you kind of make do. Yeah. So just as a, a quick, what we're doing here, for those who got, got here a little bit late, um, all this section here, so from all this, all the way, follow me around, sorry, I don't mean to make anybody dizzy. Uh, so all of this section, ignore that, okay? From the beam, all the way across, is gonna be dirt. So this is just, just a support. So it's all gonna be dirt from here, so nobody's gonna see any of this. Obviously, when the formwork comes off, they will see the back end, but from here, from the, the beam, all the way across level, totally 100% dirt, and a duplex slash big house is going up on top. Okay, so, so the finishing of down here is not really super critical. Alright, so I'm just going to do a little bit of cutting here. It's kind of a little bit tricky when you've got a single hand. Now what I need, I need a GoPro. But again, not a fan of GoPros. Alright. So anyhow, if there's any questions or thoughts or queries. Yeah. Yeah, Cass, that's right, the capping bin. Alright peeps, well I'm going to get into this. So we catch up. And uh... Unless you want to see how it's all done, should I should I show you guys how it's all done? Or how we do it? Even though it's a little bit wet. I'll stay, I'll stay with I'll stay with him and I'll just pack out this line. need to uh, just give it a rough finish and I mean rough you use the old eyeball just to, to cut the the line on the capping beam and then just run a straight edge down and then that's that's it for this particular job because we're not doing a pull so we don't need to make it look super sexy straight edge and because because it is juicy, it's easy to move. Is that a fair comment, him? I know that if it's it's wetter, it's easier on you. Yeah. See, so our jobs as sprayers, our jobs as sprayers, and this is going out to all the sprayers out there, is to make these guys, these guys' job easy. Okay. If you're looking at your you're looking at your work, your work buddy, and he is sitting there struggling, trying to chip away or shovel hard or firm mud. That's that's not a good day for them. Okay, so try and make it as easy as you can. You know, by making it wet. Okay. Yes, we're not using the Fresno, and he come along twice in the space of about two paragraphs. Done. Okay. So, so just a just an example of, of how we do it. Okay, peeps. I am. Oh, obviously we're going to level the top, so we'll run the level, so on and so forth. Because we're not animals, and we love we love a good level. Okay. And then we just cut the cut the excess off, which is nice and soft. Everything's still about five inch slump. So, it's all good. Hey Dustin, how you doing bro? Yeah, 
so we're all good. Okay, peace. Uh, and I'll um, I'll do another live when we're going up the the main wall. But I'll, I'll show you. Um, I'll do a quick live to show the, uh, the steel work for you guys, for, uh, for those who are interested. Um, okay, peoples, and uh, I'll catch you in a little bit. All right, cheers. <laughs>